Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and welcome back to F1 2017 for another race in what is this recreation of the 2018 Formula 1 World Championship. Today, it's the Austrian Grand Prix. I am uploading this video a little bit late. I'm uploading this, uh, well, I think I'll upload this on maybe Tuesday or Wednesday after the race has already happened, but... Nonetheless, it's time to get back to the Red Bull Ring, otherwise known as the A1 Ring, or otherwise known as pretty much the home of Red Bull Racing. As we saw on the weekend, Verstappen did pull off an amazing win. I was really happy that it got it. Um, I have actually raced Verstappen in real life back in the karting days, and, well, I didn't expect him to get to F1 this quick, but I did expect him to get there one day. Alright, so today we have managed to qualify in ninth and managed to get into Q3 once again after finishing third at uh, Canada in what was a pretty awesome result. I think we may just be finally starting to get on top of this Williams F1 car. Uh, it definitely is arguably slower than the rest of the field, even with this updated F1 2017 game. I actually use a full 2018 mod for those that are tuning in for, for the first time. So I've got all the new drivers, liveries, logos. Uh, I've got basically a performance update that updates it with the real life sort of per, well performance of the cars for this year not last year so although it is f1 2017 it definitely feels and and acts like the new year in formula one so without any further ado we'll jump straight into this one and hopefully get off to a good start and avoid all the mess that can happen here on the first lap well then after an exciting qualifying session yesterday let's take a look at how the cars line up Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid we have Raikkonen, Vettel, Max Verstappen and Ricardo, Holkenberg, Alonso, a Williams and Carlos Sainz, Ocon, Perez, Daniel Kvyat and Van Dorn, Stroll, Grosjean, Jolien Palmer and Kevin Magnussen, Verlein and Marcus Ericsson rounds off the grid. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track. Alrighty, so here we go. Race strategy for today is just the two-stop strategy. I thought, actually, I thought we were going to make a one-stop, but the uh, tire wear here is quite high. As we saw on the weekend, all the blisters that happened, it was pretty crazy. So, uh... What is, yeah, so 36 laps is the distance. I usually like to start with one lap extra fuel so I can use that sort of high fuel usage mode on the first lap. A little bit of extra power seems to be better than running just a lighter car, especially in this Williams car that seems to have absolutely no straight line speed on F1 2017. But we are getting through some updates, so we are getting there. Uh, car setup, just to make sure that is wing three. Cool. All right, here we go. Time to set off on this formation lap. So I apologise in advance if you can hear my awful G29 rattle around. This game definitely uh, likes to use force feedback. But no, this, uh, this track is amazing. I mean, look at that. Look at those hills. Incredible scenery. And I must admit, um, F1 2017 and Codemasters have done a really good job of portraying this track. I've never really... I've never raced here in real life. But I know a lot of people that have. And uh, they say it's pretty good. So, time to get these Pirellis up to temperature. The good thing is, is that although there are sort of two long straights, this track does require a lot of uh, mechanical grip and aero. So, I'm hoping that should play into our hands because we do have not a bad car mechanically. We just incredibly slow down the straight. I'm always seem to be well I always seem to be running like a minimum wing setting everywhere. Yes, yeah, starting off at ninth, so we are on the outside going into turn one. I actually would rather be on the inside going into turn one around here. All 
Alrighty, here we go. So, Alonso in front of us, Gasly behind us. 2018 Austrian Grand Prix on F1 2017, <laughs> if that makes sense. Here we go. God, way too much wheel spin, come on. Oh no! Fucking hell. Okay, can you just stop hitting me, please? What, and I get a warning for that. What? What is going on with this game? I've literally just been turned midway through turn one. And I've gone all the way back to last. Oh, come on, guys, sort it out. I don't think I have any damage. Okay, so the car's fine, but what the fuck just happened? See, that is why I hate starting at turn on the outside of turn one around here, because it is just horrible. Oh my god, and they're still going into each other. Well, in the beginning I wanted points, but I doubt we're going to get points after that start. That was ridiculous. Oh, okay, he, this guy definitely has nose damage. Damn it, so far back. track limits. That's about as uh, limited as it gets. <laughs> oh, that's not the page I want. God damn it. No, I want the last one. There we go.
Well, they are catching the pack. No. Now the freaking sow is even catching us. God damn it, come on, Joseph. I don't know if we got damaged, but this car feels so shit compared to the way it was in practice. Good in that. Oh, yellow flag there. Alright, so Gasly's out. Oh, there's Gasly off to the left. Oh, let's see. Let's get get in the pits now. So we're going to get in.
Alright, so we'll see if we make any positions up here. Alright, so we ended up coming out in 14th, so I think we may have gained a position there. Oh, no, wait. No, we've actually stayed the same. Never mind. Oh, there's the safety car. Oh, where is the safety car queued? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, there it is. Alright, that took a lot of time to catch up to it. Far out. Alright, well this puts us back on the pack, so hopefully with these, uh, I just realised we're on the super soft and everyone in front of us is on the ultras, so they're going to be quicker than us for a while. Alright, here we go. Going back to green now. Big move. <laughs> Made it work. Wow, Ericsson Sauber's up to 13th.
this car is so much better on the super soft. It is the car that I usually set the. I'm uh, sorry, it is the tyre that I usually set the car up for, so sort of makes sense, I guess. Nice move. Up into the points. Actually, we're up into ninth now, so that's a little bit further up in the points than I thought I would be at this point. I added one click of front wing in the stop and it's helped it out quite a bit. Ah, come on. cheeky. Holy shit. What just happened? That's like something you do in go-karting, not in a F1 car. Big dive bump. Pull it up, pull it up, pull it up. Oh, what a move. Holy crap, we're in fourth. How the hell did that happen? Wait, so all of these guys mustn't have pitted. Wait, what? where did everyone go? Wait, what the fuck? How am I in the lead? <laughs> what is going on in this race, honest to god? Like, seriously. Yeah, because I know all the front guys probably weren't able to pit on that last safety car. They already passed the pit entrance. Oh, we've gone from being screwed over in lap one. Oh, that's lucky. I actually just got the DRS because I was behind him entering the zone. That's weird. <laughs> God, I've gone from being incredibly unlucky to incredibly lucky. How the hell does that work? Everything happens for a reason, I guess. I've got to concentrate now. Gosh, Vettel's doing one minute nines. Don't 
we just make contact? I reckon he had a dive up the inside and hit me. That was weird. Shit. Here comes Verstappen. Gotta get this last two corners right. Yeah, that's better. Save at the end. Gotta stay here until they wear their ultras off. God, I'm just mirror driving right now. Uh, front tires going away. I'm just waiting for the Ferraris and Mercedes to show up. <laughs> it's just a waiting game now. Now their ultras are definitely going away.
Well, actually, the left front's wearing more. Oh. Oh, okay, so Magnuson's pitted. Should probably pit now. It's got to be a good in lap. Okay, I didn't have any speed thing then, but it was pretty good entry, pretty good in lap. Why did it hold me so long? Okay, that was not what I wanted. Oh no, they're beating us out. Shit. If it hadn't have held us there a little bit longer, I don't know why we were held. I got out of the clutch pretty quick. Which, that was weird. Got DRS. Oh, we've got to get by him now. Called off, the, I think, the chop of the century just then <laughs> on the sapping. Come on, can't let these two get away. It's basically Magnuson versus myself for the win. I don't think Ricardo's in it. On Joseph. No, not stepping again. Low, I think we just spun the stepping out. You just don't pass in that corner, all right? <laughs> Alright, we got DRS. Here we go. Gotta make it now. See if we can pull a Ricardo move on Ricardo. Oh! How the hell did I pull that off? Wow! 
I did not think we were going to pull that off, but somehow we managed to do it. Now we just got to keep him behind us. Come on. Okay, so Alonso's on the soft. He's going to the end. Shit, okay, so it's between myself and Alonso now. Oh, definitely abusing the track limits now. God, I am so shit through that corner. Oh, shit. Six laps to go next time by, or seven laps to go. And so who's in the lead? It must be Vettel.
God, the gap just seems to stay level with Alonso. I can't seem to catch up to him at all. Shit, made a huge mistake there. Fuck. Doing so well. Oh, now Magnuson's got in front of Ricardo, so hopefully if those two can start fighting like they are right now, that'd be awesome. Sweating like a pig. God, I'm useless today. Made so many mistakes at the start, now I'm just making mistakes at the end when it's most important. See it, slow each other down. Thank you. Stroll, get out the way. Oh my god, my own teammates get in the way. Actually, never mind, he helped us out. Thank you. <laughs> A bit more breathing room with two laps to go.
Ah, shit. Oh, something fell off my cart. in the complete wrong position then. Oh my god, how the hell am I going to hold on to this third? The thing is, I've had to push so hard to hold on to this third that my tyres are done. Yes! I choked him up, come on. Last lap. Come on. Come on, just don't make any mistakes, Joseph. Oh, okay, so Raikkonen ended up winning. Wow, okay. I had no idea how he ended up there. I thought maybe he managed to duck into the pits and the rest didn't. Yes! Yes! Oh, God, how the hell did we hold on to that? Basically, I had to block for like 10 laps. Oh, my gosh. effort there from Ferrari to take the victory today. So, Ant, how exactly did they set themselves apart from the pack today? Well, the safety car completely changed the race, didn't it? It's hard to say exactly what would have happened without it, but there's no question that they came out of that situation in a good position. So, here they come now, out onto the podium. Wherever you go, anywhere in the world, the prancing horse flags are dominant in the grandstands, and they're out in force again today. It's Ferrari on the top step once more. Well, I can't disagree with that. Without that safety car, there is no way on earth we would have got anywhere near the podium. But we got incredibly lucky after being turned on turn one. And then got incredibly lucky by managing to get into the pit lane on that safety car. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. It's a good result for Kimi Raikkonen who extends his advantage at the top of the championship. Now then, Anthony Davidson, who was your driver of the day? Let's give it to Kevin Magnussen. That was a commanding performance today. Very impressive indeed. And here's how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. Ferrari moved to the top of the table. There was also a strong showing from the McLaren team today as they make their way up the standings. There'll be plenty more twists and turns to come this season. I hope you can join us at the next race to see just who will come out on top. Okay, so in the end, Gasly bringing out that safety car, yeah, pretty much got us that podium. But Magnussen, who was way down the back with us, started 18th, finishes 4th. But I understand now, so Raikkonen and Alonso, they both went on to the soft tyres on that stop, which meant they could go pretty much the whole way to the end. However, we had to uh, only suffice on the super softs, which meant we had to do that extra stop. So they actually pulled it off on a one stop, whereas we... Had to do two, but lap time-wise, we were pretty good. 109.9. I know I probably abused uh, track limits to the max, but besides that, that's pretty good pace. I must admit, I think we're starting to get this Williams car slow, well, slowly and slowly closer to the front. But yeah, no, awesome race. All right, so let's go back and have a quick re look at the replay and see exactly what on earth happened on turn one. So, initial start wasn't too good, reaction timing was crap, too much wheel spin. Yeah, no, we just unfortunately didn't leave enough room for 
the two cars on my inside. That's probably my fault, actually. I thought I left enough room. Obviously not. Damn. Alright, so standing-wise, with that podium means we eke out our gap over Hulkenberg and Alonso. Actually, no, we sort of lost a little bit of Alonso, of course, because he came second, but our charge to be the best of the rest is sort of going quite well right now, I guess you could say. 23 points ahead of the next Renault, and, well, we're actually, come to think of it, only 12 points behind Ricardo in the Red Bull, so not too bad. I mean, we've had two podiums in a row, sorry, three podiums in a row, uh, including Monaco as well, so we're on a really good streak of podiums right now. I mean, uh, Canada, I felt like we sort of earned that one, but here this week, we definitely lucked out, that's for sure. So constructor-wise, of course, myself being the only one that's got any points will hurt us a little bit, but somehow we are still the best of the rest in the Williams. I mean, Haas down nine points behind us, so been a pretty good run of things recently. We just got to see if we can continue this on to Silverstone next weekend. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the race today. It was really fun from my end and really enjoyable. We just can't believe I, I did not expect to get a podium today. I was really hoping for just some points, but we got incredibly unlucky at the start and then seriously lucky uh, when that safety car came out. So definitely stay tuned for the next one at Silverstone. And until then, I'll catch you guys later.